everyone and welcome back to Chronic Corner. This episode is all about neurocardiogenic syncope. Now believe me, I know that's a mouthful. <laughs> so to break it down a little bit, syncope is when you pass out. So neurocardiogenic syncope is when you lose consciousness from a drop in arterial blood pressure and later experience a slowed heart rate. Basically what this is saying is that you pass out because your blood pressure has dropped so low and resulting in that after you pass out, your heart rate drops. Now, a lot of things can trigger an episode of syncope, in particular stress, whether it be emotional, a stressful condition, situation, you name it. Even chronic pain or extreme pain can trigger a neurocardiogenic syncope event. Now, there's a lot of um, warning symptoms that can come about to kind of give you a heads up when you're about to have an episode. And those are fatigue, weakness, nausea, sweating, visual disturbances, abdominal, abdominal discomfort, headaches, pins and needles, meaning you have that feeling, whether it be your legs, your arms, wherever, of pins and needles all over, and lightheadedness or vertigo. Now, this may just be a list of symptoms. Each person's, of course, can vary greatly. So this is just kind of a basis of what to look for before you have an episode. So in addition to that, there are some symptoms that may present themselves before an event, including feeling either warm or cold, tremors, yawning, having a bluish, purple, or even red coloring to the skin. Now, this is usually diagnosed with a tilt table test, along with, as we know, a lot of other dysautonomia conditions. And it's really important that you talk to your physician if you feel like you have neurocard neurocardiogenic syncope. Even I stumble on that. It's, it's huge. Um, it's not an easy thing to say, but it's important to be educated on it because a lot of people with dysautonomia experience it. So if you want to learn more about neurocardiogenic syncope and other types of dysautonomia, please visit dinet.org. Thank you so much for watching.